Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. I'm going to share with you perspective from a couple XRP chart analysts in this latest Moon Lambo hot jam, including one who says that we are experiencing XRP deja vu. And I'll share with you specifically what he said towards the beginning part of this video, but I'll tell you here at the outset that we have seen this movie before. We do know how it is, right? Because history, even if it doesn't perfectly repeat, it kind of rhymes with itself. And I have a pretty rough idea of uh, what this is going to mean for us. And suffice it to say, what I am expecting is, is we are going to be entering face melt territory. Uh, we XRP holders, this market cycle, in all likelihood, I wouldn't be surprised if it's this year, because I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not particularly convinced of this narrative that we're going to see this particular bull run run way into 2025. And if it does, hey, I'll, I'll be happy to, to see that unfold. I'm here for it. I'm just a bit skeptical of it. That's all I'm saying. I uh, also want to share with you perspective in terms of what's going on with Bitcoin. And there, there are additional concerns from some analysts that uh, the bottom, maybe it's in now, but there's some analysts say real good chance that we're actually going to see at least a little bit further, a final shakeout before we do see a move to the, be to the back to the upside. So uh, just a little heads up here right now. If we, if we do get that, no guarantees, but if we do, it's not the end of the world. This happens in bull markets. And the biggest way to not get wrecked is to not let your emotions control you. When it comes to investing, we are our own worst enemies because of the emotional aspect of investing. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say, right? I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right, at the time I'm recording this video, it is 7.24 a.m. Thursday, April 18th, 2024. Uh, XRP is 49 cents. Bitcoin's at 62,354 uh, bucks. Take a look at this, though. Crypto Fear and Greed Index. We haven't seen it this low in a while, have we? 57 out of 100. So that's still greed, but um, <laughs> give a little bit below that. We're going to be back into neutral territory. Um and if we do get another drop, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens, but it's also historically normal to see this happen even in a, a wider bull market. This absolutely is what you're experiencing right now. Even if it's fear, if you're feeling fear, I'm telling you what's happening right now in this bull market is completely normal. It's the same movie we've watched a, mother, a million other times. It's just repackaged with the calendar year 2024 stamped on top of it. And to drive that point home, let's talk a little bit about XRP. Here's a post from XRP chart analyst Dark Defender. This is, a, this is an uh, XRP USD price chart, and he wrote the following. This moment is not just a coincidence. It's a deja vu. Deja vu that takes us back to 2017, a time of significant shifts in the cryptocurrency market. We had one of the most extended sideways, but the targets and the support Fibonacci points are still the same. And so my friends, think about what's happening right now. Um, think about, uh, and compare that to what's happening in 2017, just the, the depths of despair. I mean, you're, you're talking about XRP moving sideways for half a year as all sorts of other coins were blazing to the upside. But it's worth reminding you, most coins don't pop all at once. You just get a, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever the number is on a given day in a bull market, You'll hear about those. They'll be widely talked about on social media. And you're going to feel like you're missing out on everything because you don't own most, most coins. So you actually should expect that the vast majority of the time you're hearing on social media about a coin popping, you're probably not going to hold it. And you should recognize that's normal. And then let that logic seep in and then don't have a, an emotional response because the logic should override that. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, anyway Dark Defender continues though. I have added the levels we discussed in August 2023 to the chart below, and since then, XRP has ranged between the same levels. Things are progressing slowly, but between our levels, with zero change, our targets are precisely defined and shining like stars. Still, the God Candle is the missing part. We know that timing is everything, and the God Candle is getting closer one minute at a time. Now, that is spot on. I completely agree with this perspective, this way of looking at things. And so he shared uh, one of his posts, August 20th, 2023, and he was noting that uh, for XRP support would be roughly 52 cents to 39 cents if it actually got that low. Uh, resistance at the time, 66 cents roughly to, to 93 cents. So he's just pointing out that we've been ranging sideways. And so the fact that we've been ranging for what may subjectively feel to you like a very long time 
is not an indication in and of itself that something is wrong. In fact, this is normal. The market is doing... Uh, it, it, it's Let me word it like this. It's behaving within uh, observed parameters from the past. There is nothing weird about this. There just isn't. So, you know, the fact that people are screaming, that's normal too. That is what happens. Markets will beat you up. They will emotionally destroy you. And only the strong actually make it through. That's why there's this whole thing about, thing about diamond hands versus lettuce hands. You guys heard that before, of course. This is why. <laughs> and so those who actually understand the psychology of markets, understand that this literally having that sort of mental fortitude, emotional fortitude is what it takes. Those are the people that make it. Everyone else, good luck. <laughs> you make it for a little while until suddenly you don't because it gets too painful because uh, price has gone down too low and you don't like it. It's not within the parameters that you'd prefer. Well, okay, d d go ahead and sell based on your, how, how your feel feels are treating you. But I, I just I know that there's <laughs> no shortage of data indicating that not the, that type of person, that type of investor is not the one that's going to find success investing in, in general. If you're talking about the stock market, if you're talking about crypto, I don't think it matters. It's about mindset and we are going to get ours. We have seen this movie before. And so I firmly believe though, yes, fine. Technically nobody knows for sure, but I firmly believe what's most probable is yes, XRP hits a new all time high in interest price discovery, melts faces, the whole nine yards, but I don't choose when it happens. Here's a post from XRP chart analyst, crypto insight UK. And this is an XRP BTC chart. And he wrote the following. And, and this is worth watching. I just, tracking the XRP BTC pair to me actually is more interesting at this particular moment in time because when it looks this horrific, <laughs> these have been the moments in previous market cycles where it ultimately does take off. So it's exciting for that reason. But here's what this guy had to say. XRP v BTC update. To be very frank, things still look the same. In fact, things look good. If you have been following my updates, you'll know I was looking for a higher low within the launch pad zone. Uh, and so he marked a, we're looking, circling right here. This is what he, this low level, this is what he, he's calling the launch pad zone on his chart. Pretty low level. That's roughly what, 0 0.00000788, somewhere around there on the XRP. So that's XRP priced against Bitcoin. And, um, and so he says, uh, could, uh, could we have found this? Because you look, he's, he's looking for bottoms here. So he says, could, could we have found this? If so, the targets here versus Bitcoin are in play. I'm not saying we will instantly 30x versus Bitcoin. I'm saying it's technically possible. If that affects you emotionally, get a tissue. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> because it does affect imp uh, impact people emotionally. And uh, I'll note here that uh, where I'm circling, for those of you looking on the screen, uh, he's calling for ultimately a 3,000% increase for XRP priced against Bitcoin, 3,000% increase. And so this is that type of move that seems impossible until one day you wake up and you see things are going. And then you look back after the market cycles finish like, huh, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it happens though. And now with XRP uh, having legal clarity for this market cycle, yes, <clears throat> it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Anyway, he continues though. From a more zoomed in perspective, we may be forming the bottom I've been looking for. We are forming a large bullish divergence on the daily time frame. We have seen volume back the current low. This is a good start. I would like to see price climb above the gray line at 0 0.00001045 before we can confirm this bottom. However, this is looking positive. And, and so look, I don't know for sure where the bottom's going to be in XRP priced against Bitcoin, but I will tell you, eventually there will be one. Um, there always has been. I just, I don't know why. It's like these people that say that's not going to happen. It's like, why is this time different in your mind? And I think the truth is a lot of people that say that either they're just, um, they're devastated because they're XRP holders or they don't hold XRP and they despise XRP. And so they'll just drive that narrative, even if it doesn't make logical sense. I think that's a lot of it too. Anyway, he also shared this uh, brief update on that. And he wrote, I don't want to get too bullish because when you get bullish and are wrong, you get crucified. But this last dip kind of reminds me technically of the dip before the rip on 2017. If we can't break range lows 
on World War, World War III, because, <laughs> you know, the news from a couple days ago, he says, that's probably good, right? And I say, fair enough point. And that is another reason that I'm very glad I'm not a chart analyst, because the chart analysts, my God, they get torn up <laughs> by a rough public when they're wrong about stuff. And nobody has a perfect track record. And also when we're talking about chart analysis, it's about probability of outcomes, you know, not some sort of certainty or anything like that. And so at the time I'm recording this, here's the XRP BTC chart on the one month. Um, so after we hit the most recent low a few days ago, uh, it has been pretty steadily trending upwards. So we'll see what happens. I mean, it would be real nice if this is the actual low, but even if it's not, eventually one comes. I just don't control when it happens and nobody technically knows for sure. We'll just look back and be like, yeah, there was the low. Because duh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Here's a post from chart analyst Mikey Bull Crypto. And this is a crypto total market cap chart uh, excluding Bitcoin and ETH. So everything else. Altcoin market cap is giving you a clue that the current sell-off is an opportunity to remain calm and accumulate. This has been observed in the previous cycle, which experienced a 30% decline followed by a huge explosive rally. Uh, yeah. So again, kind of like I was saying at the outset of the video, even though I was talking about XRP specifically, it's the same idea here. We've seen this movie before. <laughs> So last market cycle, oh, look at that, 30, it looks like nothing. Once you have a, 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 a wider time frame, which you do on this chart, and then you look at these individual seemingly catastrophic instances when you're living through them, this is where I'm circling, that's a 30% drop in 2021. Into the world! Except for now we're here at 28%. Um, and so you can see, like, it's going to look like nothing when it's done. <laughs> like, that's the point. This is, is going to be a big nothing when it's all said and done. Um, here's a post from on-chain analytics firm Santiment, and they said, according to the crypto crowd, the bull market has essentially come to an end after Bitcoin's negative 16% market value drop since the all-time high of $73,600 hit back on March 14th. At the same time, bear market mentions are increasing. Historically, prices move the opposite direction of mass traders' expectations. The quick drop-off of FOMO combined with a notable rise in FUD is a promising combination that cryptocurrency may see a recovery either right before the halving or shortly after. Okay, so I don't care about the halving stuff. I don't buy into the narrative. If there's a reaction right when this happens, then that's just, you know, human psychology, don't care. Um, but as, as far as the rest of what they're saying, yeah, that's highly interesting and accurate. Just whatever the mass traders think is likely to happen, it's typically the opposite. So when there's euphoria and there's a massive drop this size, that's when you should be alarmed. Maybe there's a little too much confidence at that point. Uh, but here, no, I, I don't think that's, this is very normal. Uh, there's also a post from Chart Analyst Credible Crypto. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's on your screen if you want to. I just wanted to warn you that he is, he has cited that there actually is a chance that we could see a little bit of a further drop. And so just watch for it. If it happens, it happens. It doesn't mean anything just changed on a higher time frame. Uh, bull market's still intact despite this, but I wanted to mention it just in case. Um, chart analyst income sharks, another one of the analysts out there, uh, kind of warning that the same thing, uh, well, similar thing, you know, could happen. Bitcoin could go down. He shared this Bitcoin price chart and wrote, Bitcoin, still think we break and close below $60,000 to get another round of panic sellers gone. People probably still holding, thinking support is holding. We need to break them first. Then we can get a hate having rally. So he's saying he thinks that there are some more people who need to have their spirit broken so that they will panic sell. And then after everybody else that's still around, there are the diamond hands. Then we move to the upside, which is how investing in these markets works. Either you're strong and you can handle this stuff or you're not. That's that. It's just a matter of fact statement. And so the reason that I've been... <laughs> I've been, you know, you know, I've been here over six years. I, you know, I'm very happy with my crypto's worth now. I'm, I'm very excited that I, I, you know, as long as we really have a full blown alt season, I'm gonna sell the vast majority or all of my crypto. I'm excited, but even with where it is right now, I'm thrilled with what it's worth in terms of United States dollars. But the reason this has happened is because I genuine, I have very genuine conviction. I believe what I believe. This asset class gets way bigger, and I've been right about it trending that way for over six years. And so it's not that there's something special about me because of that, but I'm just noting that this is what it takes. It is just that level of conviction. So the people that don't have that conviction, well, I encourage you to do more research on crypto in general so you can figure out why people like me do have that level of conviction. 
because it's not going away. It's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. And this is an exciting time to be here. We are on the precipice of major face melt action for XRP specifically and really the entire crypto asset class. 2024 has been very fun so far, but the best of this year, I believe, is yet to be had. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.